Jazz Jr. with SOT Metalworks coming at you live and direct from the SOT Metalworks compound. It has been been a little while since I talked to you guys. I uh, first off want to apologize. Been a little slow on videos. We've had some family things going on. The business has been busy, which is always a great thing. Uh, but just been really taking the last little bit off, enjoying time with the family, enjoying time. I mean, with the business, it's been a refreshing deal. Not to have to record videos, huh? <laughs> I'll be honest. But I have left you fine folks hanging, and I want to apologize. I'm sorry. We're going to try to get back on a normal schedule uh, of posting videos and the whole nine yards. But don't hold it against me. We're trying the best we can. I mean, we're just a small little business. So what do we got going on today? We are going to go back into the monograms. We have a uh, an M monogram that we're going to try to cut out on the old Shop Saber CNC. Get it squared away, make it look pretty, make it look beautiful. The things that we do here at SOT Metalworks. So come along with us. We'll get you guys fired up on the table. See if we can't get this one done. And make, make it look finer than frog hair split three ways. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get after it. All right, so got a store parts down here in the bottom. But if you guys seen there on the uh, on the old table, stop the camera a couple times, stop the uh, torch. Those tip ups on these monograms is notorious for ruining a whole sign. You will ruin a whole sign off one little bitty piece or part that tips up and hits that torch. So, always keeping that in mind. I mean, it's a constant, constant battle. It is terrible sometimes. All right, so we got the M monogram. There you go, there's a good look at it, the whole nine yards. So, this is a 20 inch monogram. Normally, see, most people, see, we're not most people here at SOT Metalworks. So, it's a little bigger than our average monogram. Uh, our average monogram runs about 18 inches, something like that, maybe a little smaller, uh, depending on wording, lettering, the whole nine yards. The basic monogram, 85 bucks. So you won't catch nobody on YouTube telling you prices. That's just, it's just how it goes. All right, so this monogram that you guys just looked at, it's 20 inches. It's a little fancier than normal. Took a little more drawing, the whole nine yards. We're running about $105, $115, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, may have a couple extra things to go with, but I'm not sure yet. So that's why I'm saying not, not setting a price on that. But steel prices are coming back down. It's been, it's been nice. It's been nice. I'm not going to lie. Uh, ever since 2019, when all the craziness started happening and everything was going ridiculous, it was a wonder if we could still do this or not. But still, prices have started. I'm not saying really technically going back down, but they've started being a little bit stable. So, all right. So this is our monogram. 20 inches is what the circumference of the uh, the monogram is. Cool deal. This is a new one for us. We don't normally do this style, so this is a new one we have in the kitty. Works out pretty good. Everything's connected. Got all the stuff. This is a really, really stable, stable monogram. So, cool deal for us. All right. That being said, new monogram for us. New learning curve. The whole nine yards. You guys seen the tip ups? Everything else. Uh, you really have to watch this stuff when you're cutting a new pieces, parts, uh, everything else. I mean, it only takes one little part to tip up there and ruin the whole sign. Uh, so one little part could have tipped up, the torch could have hit it, and then it would have been off on its next cut, and which which always makes it. I tell you what, it always makes it difficult. You're. You, people think, hey, you can just set your torch, leave it, forget it, no big deal. Uh, but that's not necessarily always always true because you gotta watch it. You never know what you cut. Now if you're you're doing factory work and you got all your parts and pieces, perfect. No problem. 
and get everything squared away. But when you're doing one-offs and, and specialized signs and everything, never know, never know how things are going to uh, come out. So, all right, we're gonna get this over on the table. We're gonna get some grinding done on it. Get uh, got a little bit of slag on the back. We're gonna get it knocked off. I mean, it ain't it ain't hard to do. I mean, do a little wire wheeling. Get some primer on the back. We'll get some paint and primer on the front. See what happens. See what it looks like. All right, you guys stick with us. All right, so here we go. A little tip from SOT Metalworks. Uh, got a lot of people out there asking me, how do we get the cut so squared away? Uh, how do they look so good? Everything else. We cheat. We cheat the system by a very good CNC plasma table shop saver. Shout out to those fine folks because they make one of the best plasma tables out there on the market today. Uh, very competitive prices, great customer support, the whole nine yards. So we've had a little comments of, uh, you know, hey, you know, you're using dirty steel or, or what have you. We use every piece of steel we can use. But we use certain pieces of steel at certain times. So this monogram is going to get a, a hammered finish. So we don't have to use the most prim and proper piece of steel we have on the table. Now, let me, let me clarify. Steel, really, really good steel. It's not rusted, it hadn't started pitting, it hadn't started doing all that stuff. But sometimes on the table, you'll move steel around, it'll get scratches in the steel and stuff like that. And, and sometimes that stuff happens. I mean, you'll see there's, there's a little scratch mark and some of these, from time to time, can get can get fairly deep. You, you can gouge out some material. But that's okay. If you know what color you're painting, if you know what texture paint you're using, or, and stuff like that, self-etching primer, self-filling primer, the whole nine yards, if you keep that all in mind, a scratched up piece of steel will turn out just as good a product as anything else. So, not only do you have to know the paint, the primer, the whole nine yards, you gotta know your piece of steel, you gotta know how many gouges it's got in, you gotta know how, how many scratches it's got in, it could have happened from them loading it at the factory. There are so many things that go into this stuff, it's absolutely ridiculous. So, just a little heads up. Make sure that you take a scratched up piece of steel and put a hammer finished on it. So, let's see what kind of hammered finish we're fixing to put on here. Alright ladies and gents, got the uh, good old hammered black we're fixing to get on this M monogram that this fine young lady ordered and put a little color to it. Well, Alright, <clears throat> little camera snafu there, battery went dead, but let's restart this. So we're not, uh, we're not changing the color a lot. Just changing the texture a little bit. So they said hammered black. They love that color, and a lot of people do. So I'm gonna go with the old rattle can. Get some hammered black on here. Make it look all nice, prim, and proper. You guys can't tell. I always love painting this uh, this hammered black. I've probably said that a thousand times on this channel, but. You don't think about the texture of the paint a whole lot until you see it up close and personal and then you're like, wait a minute, I didn't know that was possible, so. Got to give your customers all the options you can. I mean, that's what makes a good business, right? I mean. Can't just offer one thing out there. You gotta offer multiples of everything. But, this textured paint really, really does turn out a great product. And we've always been pretty fond of it. Customers have been pretty fond of it. And people ask for it on a regular, so. Must be something to it. Alright, we're going to let that get tacked up. Put another coat on it. We'll sit her over on a drying rack. We'll be back with a finished product here in just a minute. 
All right, ladies and gents, got the M all finished up. You can see we've got the uh, hammered black on there. Turned out extraordinarily well. She's going to be happy with this one, I tell you what. So a little back and forth on this uh, with design and things like that. Took us a little while to uh, stamp out the final product, but I think we knocked this one out of the park. But yeah, that's just another monogram to add to the repertoire here at SOT Metalworks. If you need anything like that, look us up, SOTMetalworks.com, shoot us an email, shootersoptiontargets at gmail.com. You can get in touch with us and figure out which one you want, what color you want, what color you need, any of these fine and dandy looking signs you got behind me, but we're always making new stuff. It seems like every week we're pumping out a new I don't know, maybe two or three new style signs and everything. So, got that going on. Uh, AR500 steel targets, got those two. Don't forget about them. We do do pretty good on shipping right now with uh, uh, the post office stuff. It's been been not too terrible. Christmas has uh, kind of wound down a while back. Things have slowed down a touch. But boy, I'm paying for it this week. This week has been Katie bar the doors because everybody called at the same time. It's been nuts. Good to have, good to have all the extra uh, work available when you need it. I mean, it, it turns out pretty good. But. All right, guys, we're going to check on out of here. Y'all stay safe out there. All, as always, remember, work smarter, not harder. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think about that one. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all be safe. Later. We out.